If you don't see your friends very often and you have a chance to, but you're not sure whether you should because you have so many goals and you're not getting to them and that's just going to distract you, my feeling is it's always better to see your friends. I just came from seeing a friend, so I'm going to explain to you why I think it helps to lift your mood and put you on a path to your goals. I'm Diane. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where we help you feel better about the job you're doing as a mother and a professional by watching stories of other moms sharing their successes and failures, as well as my own. And this is my vlog where I explain to you what's going on in my life. And I went out to see a friend today. I kind of went back and forth a few times since yesterday if I was going to go or not. So I have a new morning routine, which I didn't actually do today until the afternoon. I have been trying to get up earlier to do it, but I've been not feeling as rested and as healthy when I'm sort of forcing myself to wake up earlier than I want. And I decided there's no reason that I have to do this morning routine earlier because I'm lucky enough to be able to be self-employed and I can start my day whenever I want. So I'm going to do the new morning routine when it's convenient for me. So today I woke up when I was rested, no alarm. I had an idea for a blog post. So I was thinking of postponing it and doing my morning routine. I'm, I read this book or I'm reading this book called Miracle Morning. That's where I'm getting the morning routine. But I have several times in the last week or two had a blog post idea, wrote down a quick little note, sent it to myself an email, and then never followed up on it, never did anything with it. And I said, I haven't posted a blog in a while. I've got this idea. There's nothing on my plate that is urgent today. Let me just write it, post it, and get it done with. So I did that, and then after I was done, I did my miracle morning routine. It's S-A-V-E-R-S, six different things, 10 minutes each, takes an hour. It usually takes me a little longer because some of the things I sometimes spend more than 10 minutes doing, like the journaling portion, because I am a writer. But by the time I was done with it and then I looked at the clock, I realized I had made plans to see a friend and he was meeting a big group of people and I knew my husband probably wasn't gonna wanna go because he's involved in a project and he doesn't wanna pull himself away for this. And he reminded me the last time this friend invited us to one of these watch parties, it was Black Hawk's watch party. He went and I didn't go, so this time I was gonna go. So I made up my mind, okay, I can go. I'm just gonna spend an hour or two there and then I'll come home and I'll get on with whatever I want for the goals for my day. So part of my new routine when I'm journaling is I create a plan for my day. I take some of my goals and I actually put in a timeline of when I think I'm going to be able to accomplish them throughout the day. And I don't always meet them, but at least it gives me a good plan to try to follow. So right when I told my friend, okay, I'm going to end up being late, which he knows I have a tendency to be late a lot of times and he's known me for years. I'm not gonna get there until like four in the afternoon and the event started at two, but the game would probably go till five and he's like, just come on over, it doesn't matter. And I knew he wasn't waiting on me, that there would be a group of people there that he had probably assembled. And of course, right after I sent this text, then I realize it's sunny out and it's been bad weather for weeks and I haven't been able to get on my bike, something I love to do, and I look and the temperature is 55 degrees. And I'm like, well, maybe we've turned a corner. It's gonna be like this for the rest of the week. And then I look at the temperature for the rest of the week and it's going to be in the 30s, which I will not ride my bike when it's like that. So I was kind of bummed and I was like, what do I do? Do I tell my friend, plans change, I'm not coming? But I was kind of looking forward to seeing him. I haven't hung out with him in a while and I don't go out very often to see friends. I just had a party and I did see a bunch of friends there and I did have a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with them, but not a lot. Cause when you're having a party, you're a host and I like to have activities and so I'm running those. And so, and, and I would say there are sometimes weeks that go by that I do not get together with a friend. And so this is something that I have prioritized and said, I need to make effort to spend more time with friends. So even though I have goals in my business, you know, I wanna be sending this email, I wanna be doing this task, I also have goals in my personal life. So I didn't wanna say no, I didn't wanna miss this 
nice sunny warm 55 degree day so I decided I'm just gonna take a quick little 15 20 minute walk get some vitamin D get some fresh air feel like I enjoyed the day listen to one of my audiobooks and then jump in the car and go meet him and be there pretty much on time for when I said I was gonna be there at 4 o'clock my husband distracted me as I was going out the door and then we had a big fight because I got mad at him because I claimed that he shouldn't have distracted me but he was right he said, you know, you didn't really tell me that you were in a hurry or that you wanted to just leave. And he was just kind of sharing something with me that he thought would be interesting and helpful to me. And I turned out to be kind of honorary with him, probably because I was going through this dilemma of should I see my friend or not? Right? We go through this. Should I do this or should I do that? Decisions every day. Sometimes we have too many choices in our day. And I realized after I left that I still wanted to make sure I got out and enjoyed the sunshine so I did I took a quick 15 minute walk it was nice and listened to a podcast instead of my audiobook because that would have taken me more time to get that ready and everything else and then I jumped in the car and then I drove and then I was a half an hour later than I even said I was going to be which was two and a half hours after the event started and about 10 minutes after I got there the game ended they lost and a whole lot of people got up and left about another 10 minutes after that. And so my friend was saying goodbye to them all. He had like 16 people he had gathered there. He had actually helped kind of coordinate this event in a way. He had suggested this as a location, which was awesome. So I was really happy for him. But then I got to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with him, talking to him, which I might not have even gotten to do had I gotten there at 2 in the afternoon when the event started. So the bottom line is I only got there what two and a half hours late for the last half hour of the event he ended up staying an hour and a half later he didn't have anywhere he had a rush off to and I wanted to spend some time catching up I hadn't seen him in months and so I'm glad even though yeah there's things I could have got done at home and and moved forward some of my goals but personal goals and personal relationships and personal fulfillment is just important to personal development as career goals and financial um, co commitments and achieving the things that you want. It's all part of the same picture. It's all part of knowing yourself. Somebody told me today, wow, you have great self-awareness. And I never really thought about it, but I guess that's true. And I told her, well, I think the reason is because I spent... 15 years of my life commuting an hour no more than an hour almost two hours away eight hours a week basically it was part-time job and it was a long commute but I spent about eight hours a week commuting and was listening to audiobooks most of that time during 15 years so that's what enabled me to really get to know what I want and how to achieve it in my life and I wasn't listening to self-help audiobooks the whole time but I was listening to a lot of things that helped me towards my goals most of that time I was listening to nonfiction and things that I felt would impact my life positively so I made this decision today and I would recommend to you if you don't see friends that often if you miss that interaction if you feel like you want to see that friend but it's not super convenient you're going to maybe have to put something else aside you know um, delay cleaning this room or doing the laundry or sending off that email or finishing that project that doesn't really have a deadline but you want to get done I opt for seeing the friends because there are studies that show that one of the number one factors to happiness is the relationships that you have in your life. And forming those relationships and maintaining those relationships and enjoying those relationships. If it's a friend that you feel obligated to ski, to, if it's a friend that you feel obligated to see, that you don't really enjoy their time, the time you spend with them, that you feel like they're whining all the time, or you just don't connect with them, even if it's an old friend but you don't connect with them in the way you used to, that's different. But if it's somebody that you look forward to seeing, it doesn't mean, oh my God, we're gonna have the best time, we're gonna do shots, we're gonna go wild, it's gonna be a night remember for years no just a nice friendly conversation with someone I haven't seen in a while there's shortcuts in being able to hang out with somebody who knows you well so you know they know what you're talking about without you explaining it and just having a little one-on-one -on -one time 
aside from the usual people you're seeing. You know, I see my husband every day. I see my daughter every day. I see my assistant every day. And those are, you know, the main people in my world that I like interacting with and I enjoy um, my time interacting with them, but I need other people in my life as well to have conversation with and enjoy time with and just feel like I've got a group of friends that even if I only see them one-on-one -on -one here and there that are meaningful to me and that I can count on and today was part of that so that's all I wanted to share is if you're not sure if you should put aside a goal a project something that you were planning to do to go and hang out with a friend I suggest going and hanging out with a friend if it's someone you enjoy hanging out with and if it's something that you don't do as often as you wish you did. So good luck with that and don't forget to spread a little of your own love to another mom who needs it.